Hi, this is Peter. I'm making a follow-up video because that this mesh would not sweep and so it was suppressed out and I'm going to investigate why that would fail to mesh and um, the way to do that is to turn on closed vertices and that reveals that there is um, some very close vertices and there's a short little edge and that is causing the mesher to have difficulties and there's a technique to recover bad geometry like that the geometry could be repaired back in design modeler but um, we're going to put a band-aid on it in the mechanical and that band-aid is called virtual topology so we're going to insert virtual topology we're going to tell it that we could just try automatic and but I was I, I'm going to do repair and uh, repair small edges and I'm going to generate virtual cells and it has told me that it has found eight virtual edges and golly gosh one two three four five six seven eight so um, it has replaced um, two edges with a single edge and that will um, potentially allow the mesh that was being asked to sweep if we unsuppress that now and uh, <clears throat> if we uh, clear the mesh we can um, see if we get a mesh now and we do now we can get um, two elements across the thickness which is often uh, desirable in this case there's an interior body that it's bonded to so it's less important but I'll show that if you want two elements across the thickness then there's a sizing function called proximity and one of the things on the sizing function is cells across the gap and that's set to two so by setting proximity as the meshing method it will now put two elements across the thickness which is highly desirable and so uh, we have now uh, a beautiful mesh on this body that we could use um, the other uh, thing that I'll repeat that I've mentioned in an earlier video is there's um, bonded contact between this body and the uh, other bodies uh, I suppressed them so it would mesh quickly um, but there's bonded contact to hold uh, these two parts together and bonded contact to hold these two parts together um, that's okay but contact elements take computational effort and they uh, do allow some tiny relative motion between the parts uh, what I recommended earlier was going into Design Modeler and picking the two parts, which would be that part and that part, right clicking and saying Form New Part. Now the meshing is going to go right across these two bodies and similarly if we form a new part here, the meshing is going to go right across these two bodies and even though they're different materials, they will share nodes on the coincident surface at the center. So that's my recommendation so that in um, uh, the contacts, all of these can be suppressed and not needed, just the frictional contact. So uh, that is the answer to what happened with trying to mesh that second body. So thanks for listening. Bye.